Hey guys, John Luxley here, back with a new blind playthrough. This time we are doing Salt and Sanctuary. Now this was released in 2016 by Ska Studios, who, they have kind of a unique art style. I know they did, um, is it like Dishwasher, Vampire Smile, or something like that, which I haven't played, but I've seen the art for, and this is similar. Now this is probably a bit more popular than that. It's at least fairly well known, I think as uh, it's, from my understanding, it's basically a side-scrolling uh, Dark Souls clone. I don't know if you can call it a clone if it's a side-scroller instead of, you know, but regardless, let's play. Let's play. That's basically all I know about it. I think I saw someone do... Was it the Red Letter Media guys? I think they did some of the beginning... And it's possible that they were terrible at it. Uh, they did some of the character selection and then... Maybe got to the first save point. I don't recall. Are there bonfires in this game? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's press A. I'm, I'm using a controller. I know it's possible to use mouse and keyboard. Um... Man, I even drank some coffee before this, but it is late. By the way, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. Uh, if it's not your first time, welcome back. All right, so we have, uh, looks like character creator. I look like a frog, which is okay. Um, very similar to All Souls style games. Uh, let's see. I don't... I don't know. Oh, I see. So it is. Oh, wow. Gulchmire. Tristan. Looks more like a frog. Kadani is fine. Class. Now, does it actually do anything? I mean, so the question, I guess, is how much does magic play a part? What are my little side things? I don't know anything. What are these challenges? Upper. Oh, there's Chef. I was going to say, I vaguely remember the guys taking Chef, but I could be wrong. Um, I mean, this is a, a side-scroller, so we'll probably go with Knight... Uh, let's see. Looks like our stuff effects. What is this? Red shards, stone, cell sword, amber idol, grasping ring, crystal sphere. Do I want one of these? I feel like I should take one. Let's. Can I? Can I go over and see what they do? Challenges. Hardcore mode, magic only, iron pot only, aura only, naked, no blocking, no healing. Let's do none of those. And I wish I knew... Can I... Like, what about the shoulder buttons? Okay. So... I don't know what any of this is. I assume there's magic. Magic is presumably ranged. Does it recharge? Okay, so what are those icons in the upper right? We have a sword and armor, presumably. Shit, I don't know why that clicked so vividly, but uh, we have a book which is presumably magic and a short sword dagger. Unless that's the wand. Uh, clubs and armor. Just a knife. But see, they... Like, the paladin has some kind of pot. Thief has what looks like a bomb and... Maybe a throwing dagger, it's hard to say. Uh, chef has a potato and nothing. Like, is this what you're... So is that, like, proficiencies? Like, the knight can use swords and armor. Mage is proficient in spells and wands. 
Thief is daggers. Chef is nothing. Cleric is... Oh, that's a uh, different armor. Looks like maybe light armor? Light armor and possibly healing magic. That might be good. We have a club, but it doesn't look like I'm proficient with that either. Pauper is... Uh... A, it's either a bag or a pot or something. I don't know. I wish I could... I wish I knew what this stuff was. Hunter, probably reference to Bloodborne, right? With the hat and everything. Crossbow. Whip. Everyone seems to have shields. Except for the chef, of course. And the mage. Um, I mean, I'm tempted... See, Paladin has a head covering. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Hey there, Manny. This is nerve-wracking. Yeah, the first five minutes are going to be like, what do I pick? Right, that's great. Um... I know it's a side scroller. Presumably, there's a lot of hand to hand. Uh, mage, you can't use armor, as far as I'm aware. So, I'm not super great at games. I guess. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, mage. If you can't, hey there. Um, do you want to get in my lap, or are you gonna walk in front of the monitor? You can't see Manny yet. You'll see him in a second, I think. Come here. Do you want to? How about you get in my lap? He probably wants to eat. By the way, if you're a cat person, my cats generally like to show up on camera. There's Manny. Okay. There you go. They are extremely clingy, which is fine. And Manny has been asleep all day, saving up his energy for when I go to sleep, and then he'll run around and... and uh, get into stuff, right? Uh, I'm thinking night or like, I don't, I don't know. Is it, let's do night. Cause I seem to have some awesome sword, like a two handed sword or a long sword or something. I don't know. We'll try night. And right now effects red shards, which is probably a healing potion. Uh, stone, cell sword. I don't know. Amber idol. Also don't know. Grasping ring? From my playing of the Souls games. Rings are good. And then crystal sphere, which is possibly... Like idols and stuff. Those seem good. That's a consumable, presumably. And crystal sphere is probably consumable as well. Let's go with a ring. Guess. Venture forth. Okay. Yes. I have no idea what's going on. This is a totally blind playthrough. I have no idea, aside from that little bit that I saw Red Letter Media do. This world has known war for centuries, but peace is finally preciously near. We'd deliver the princess to the kingdom across the sea where a marriage alliance would save us all. Failing this mission would surely plunge us into darker days. I'm guessing we failed. So we are to get the princess. Are we on with the princess now? Is this my... What is... Ah, shit. Okay. What is that at the very bottom? The bottom left. It looks like a pointer of some kind. So... Okay, do we... Do we jump? Okay, A is jump. Why is my health a little bit down? It's not maxed out. Okay, uh, no double jump, though. Uh, X is swing. Okay, looks like a combo system. LB and RB are... Oh, okay. RB is what? Okay, that's the trigger. There's a dash. And then we have a block. RB is presumably special item or something. A dash, 
or a roll. Is it a back roll? No, it's just a roll. Okay. Uh, let's see. Select does nothing. Start. So we have a menu. I'm level three. Oh yeah, we didn't even see our stats at the beginning. Uh, okay, no helmet. Plate mail. Plate reinforced chainmail of a low ranking knight, smartly draped with a wool cape which indicates a noble rank and provides protection from, from wind and rain. Info. Class 1 heavy armor. Great. I mean, it's already equipped, I think. Right. Plate reinforced chainmail gauntlets of a low-ranking knight. They provide essential protection for the hands in the heat of battle. Plate greaves. Chainmail chosses. How do you pronounce that? Reinforced with steel, greaves, and polins. Polines. Polines. They provide balance protection against all damage types and are standard equipment for low-ranking knights. Grasping ring. Whoa. A painted white ring depicting two grasping hands on the continents. A ring such as this would symbolize an unending desire. Increase salt obtained from slain enemies. Uh, equip. Is it? I assume it's equipped. What is this? Vrangian Spatha. Let's toggle one or two-handed. That's weird. I don't know what this is. Okay, I have no idea what that is. So our three inventory slots. Uh, Varangian Spatha, an unembellished longsword of highly refined crucible steel. The crucible method results in blades of exceptional quality, which have long been popular among seafaring warriors for their reliability, and production has expanded in recent years to accommodate the increasingly widespread use of these weapons among heavy infantry and cavalry units in many continental armies. That's a lot of words. Without a uh, without a pause, escutcheon, a large, slightly convex heater shield with a central boss for deflecting blades, constructed from solid hardwood, covered by a steel sheet and painted with the arms of a low-ranking noble family. This shield offers substantial protection from conventional weapons. Uh, I assume this functions similar to Dark Souls or the Souls stuff where. This is like a percentage of the defense, or, you know, damage taken, whatever. Um, I See, I don't know what, like, what is this? These are quick use slots or something? I don't know. That's inventory. Oh, wait, I thought I was already in the inventory. Ah, spells, armor, keys, materials, brands. Okay. Oh, a bestiary. That's cool. That's always handy. And then, uh, menu, which... Yeah, okay. We don't want to end the game yet. Okay, what about... We have left trigger, right trigger. Um... Or... Oh, that's... Oh, triggers, not the buttons. Got it. So my strength and endurance are six. Willpower, dexterity is five. Magic and wisdom is also five. Um, I don't know what this is. Health is 100 out of 105. Focus. Stamina. Attack drop rate equipment. I see. And then, uh... Right, all this stuff. All my defenses and balance and, and everything. Um, yeah. Alright, sounds good. I feel good. Let's, uh... So jump. Attack. Who are you? Are you an enemy or friend? Ow. You there, stranger. We've been bored of the night. Ugh. They'll, they'll want to kidnap our lady. Ow. Ransom her. Protect her. Ugh. Oh, jeez. Alright, that seemed good. And I guess I'm picking up salt. Ooh, this is pretty nice. I'm, my sword's bloody. I can't get up there. Okay, so... Oh! So 
so I guess I'm... Right, the whole thing about the princess to an, an arranged marriage for political expediency. Um, but if not, we're all lost. It seems like we're off to a bad start. Do I press up? Okay, can I... Can I... Yes! Kill! Wow, they're just... They're all losing. Jesus, I'm spreading blood everywhere, which is cool. Okay, what's going on up there? Is that the princess? Maybe. Can I get up here? No. So what's the deal with salt? Is that like souls? I, I vaguely remember that like salt is... Can I... Oh, hey, I can. Uh, and salt is like... Souls and sanctuary is like the bonfires, I guess? See, stamina and focus went down. Why did they do that? Or the Mac, or the current went down, but it doesn't look like my bar is lower. I don't, I don't know what that means. Is that instead of durability, like your bars, your maxes just deplete over time on their own? Very cool. The unspeakable deep, that seems bad. Look at you. Oh, hey, I do a... Oh, Jesus. Am I supposed to lose? Uh... I just died. Holy shit. I mean, I was trying to block. Failing this mission would surely plunge us into darker days. I'm sure you're supposed to lose. I bet you probably can win, though. I woke to the sounds of waves washing on rock, and I knew I was alive. I must find the princess. I bet you can win. I wonder what happens if you do. Presumably the wave just... you get just knocked overboard anyway. Alright, so now I have things at the bottom. The bottom left. And my bars are full. For some reason. I'm not quite sure why. The unspeakable deep. Shivering shore. Well, hello there. You're just a fleshy bit of flotsam washed ashore with the rest of us, hmm? You'll want shelter, you'll want sanctuary, but what is sanctuary, sanctuary without faith? There's an empty sanctuary up the beach. You can claim it for your creed. Tell me, do you keep the new gods? I... As opposed to the old gods? Um... Wow, I don't want to say the wrong thing. <clears throat> Let's try saying no. You don't keep the new gods? Rare. So, are you a pilgrim of Devara? Your sort has been dying out for centuries, I'm afraid. Uh, also no, I suppose. No? Do you hold no gods at all? You're either brave, foolish, or from the north. I'm, I think, from the west. You don't look particularly brave, but you don't seem particularly foolish either. Are you a mountain smith? No. What is, is this like the covenant or something? Like, what's, what is this? No. 
No, what was your creed then? I have no idea. The iron ones seem good, but the goddess of light seems like it could be good as well. I assume the creed is... They said something about the creed for the sanctuary. I, I don't, I don't know. Goddess of Light sounds cool. Let's go with that, I suppose. Oh, well, okay. Pilgrim of Devara. Got it. Followers of Light, of Goddess of Light, worship Devara. Deity of humility, kindness, and forgiveness. Her creed is perhaps the oldest known creed, though this could be a consequence of its cleric's meticulous record keeping. Are you a Pilgrim of Devara's Light then? Uh, we'll say no. No, it was a creed. So the new, there's the new gods, the Pilgrim of Devara, and the Mountain Smith, right? The Iron Ones. Men from the mountains of the northern continent of Mark Dor are Iron Ones. They believe no gods, believing instead of the Iron Will of Man. They love steel, but hate magic. You remember the Iron Ones? No. Uh, tell me about the three. Most men follow three deities. The King, the Knight, and the Judge. The king lends wisdom to men who lead. The knight protects warriors in combat, and the judge guides those who maintain order. That sounds fine. Follow of the three, then. So these must be the new gods. Yes. You're a follower of the three, as I suspected. Here is a candelabra of the three, icon of your creed. All right. Achievement unlocked the three. So what does... RB... It does nothing. What was this? B. Uh, okay. LT is shield slash offhand. Um. Oh, left trigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Block. Got it. Can you block? You can kind of block with the the two-handed sword. While blocking, parry. Oh, that was an X. I see. Parry. Right trigger, roll. Zombies. All right, we got salt and gold, presumably. I assume the white is salt. I have no idea. Uh, B? Sanctuary key. Right on. LB, switch loadouts. Got it. So, are these loadouts? I see. Okay, that must be right. So, it's a two-handed thing, right? So, I switch the loadout, and the loadout goes from sword and shield to sword two-handed. Got it. Whereas, if I go like this, then I switch... He just puts the shield away. Got it. Got it. Good to know. Uh, no. Uh, there you go. Right on. Boom. Switch items. Um, I don't even- I don't even have any items. But it's probably the candelabra of the three. Uh, use equipped item. Got it. Okay, what is this? Okay, well, I don't know if I was supposed to break it, but I'll take it. View inventory. Open. Oh. Open the door. Use sanctuary key. Got it. See, I don't remember any of this. I remember... From the red letter media, I remember the... Ship? Not the boss, though. I remember them doing something along the ship. And then I remember them on the island at the very beginning, and that's it. 
I don't even think I watched this far. I vaguely remember them having trouble on the ship. And I think they picked the chef. I think they picked the chef and I remember them having trouble on the ship. And I remember thinking they're terrible at video games. Whether they are or not. Oh man, my back. Whether they are or not, Manny. I don't know. Wow, it's dark in here. I'll take gold, I suppose. Claim Sanctuary. I claim it in the name of the three. Achievement unlocked. Find Sanctuary. Oh, oh! I bet the paintings or the tapestries change depending on your creed. And the torches are now lit. Right on. What a... Okay, so now there's something right next to the candelabra. Three... Red orbs. Uh, okay, level up, tree of skill, make offering, done. Need more salt to ascend. Fair enough. Tree of skill. Whoa! Um, I didn't realize there was a skill tree. Holy poop. Look at all this. What is all this? Um, okay. Oh, these are skills. Oh. I'm a little overwhelmed now, to be quite honest with you. Um... Look at all this stuff. So it's just that you start with skills or not. I'm not even looking, I'm just moving around kind of the, the map a bit. But I assume you have to get one to get another one. Wait, what is this? What is X? Oh, X is zoom out, zoom in. And then you have, uh, in the upper right, you have... Uh, looks like skulls in a crystal orb, and then, uh... A bottle of purple liquid or something? I don't know. So class one sword fighter takes one of those purple things, wield class one swords, two class one, two hand class one great swords, gain one point of strength. Ah. Strength improves attack of strength, strength scaled weapons. Having reached accord, the 16 knights of no banner were ready to embark on their quest, but first a symbolic gesture would occur. Annals of Grimson, page 17. Okay. Uh, how do I get to... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. There you go. Class 1 heavy armor. Gain 1 point of endurance. Endurance determines your maximum equipment load. Interesting. So this is... So this is kind of like the stats in the Souls games, right? You're different, like... Strength, endure, endurance, dexterity, all that stuff. But this is how you gain them, rather than actually putting the points into the levels themselves. Okay. So what does a level do then? Just hit points? Um, I'll need good metal to make a piece like that, he said. Dorian Steel, nothing less. The Smith's Apprentice? Page 13. Yes, by the way, we are going to read everything. Remove skill. I can't remove it. Presumably that's if you place it. I'll right make offering. Nothing to offer. Okay. So what is what does RB do? Red flask. I assume it's maybe recharged here. Is it like Estus? Yes. Okay. Good to know. Well then, let's go this way. <sighs> Very quest crazy surprise. Yeah, okay. That sounds good. What, did I have to jump to grab the ledge? 
no, it just automatically does it. I guess. Um, there's a skull on this chest. Is it a trap? Red shard pouch of salt. Okay. Red shard, I could have gotten one of these to start with. A vial of incandescent red whose mending medicine... The mending medicine whose formula is closely guarded secret to the three, sold in black markets and back alleys by scrupulous merchants of the three. Quaff it to restore some HP. Okay. A traveler's pouch, it contains salt. The worth of mankind is the salt on his brow, for it is the essence of life. Red flask, a flask of incandescent red. Its cork is stamped with the crest of the three, and its ownership by apostates is forbidden. All right. So the red flask is Estus. When does it save? Also, how do I down and jump? I can't open that for whatever reason. Why not? I'm putting, putting I'm pushing it. I'm Purton B. Burr. Drowned right here. I... What? Speak English. Whoa. Oh, you dick. Pouch of salt. So do I use... Oh, I get it. It's gotta be like the... Like the souls that you pick up, so you use it when you're closer to leveling, I suppose. What is this? But this one I can open. Why can't I open the other one? Alright. Do we have fall damage? Something else it's time to find out is... Do enemies respawn? Well, you know, I should have checked if they respawned when I went in the door. Okay. Ouch. See, I should be blocking. Alright. Guess I got that stuff. Let's check if they respond when I go through the door. That's a question. Um, well, you... That was fun. No, only when I hit the, um... But it doesn't say how much salt it gives us. Can I just use it from here? Or do I have to do this? A hundred. Okay. Um, well, I need five something to, to level up. The Festering Banquet. Oh. There's more salt. So basically smash everything. Whoa! Whoa there! Wow, I blocked that thing. I mean, was it a critical hit or... Ouch. Rotten Walker's ear. Red shard. Oh, they just keep respawning, do they? Uh... Oh, you're trying to... Oh, here comes Jack. Oh, he's... Are you gonna get in front of the mouse? Don't hit the mouse, please. Do not. Can I open this? No. What time is it? How are we doing on time? Am I actually taking damage from... Okay, well, all right, can I just grab... Oh, hey! 
what about you? Oh, jeez. That one's got an axe. Oh, jeez. Holy poop. Whoa. Whoa. How much does it heal you? Holy shit. Whoa, doggy. Okay, so they gave me salt. That's why is my health down now? My max health is down. Why is that? Let's go up and grab whatever that thing is. Do you have to walk in front of the screen, Jack? You can see him right there. They both like to do that. They, it, you know, red shard. They know it gets my attention, which I mean, it 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 does, obviously. Okay, what is? Like, what is that? Do I go through the door? Uh, oh. Oh. Well. Uh, hang on. Devotion. One. I assume the tree is the sanctuary. Health is down. I don't understand. See, the max is going down, too. I don't understand why. Is that just based on... Uh... Maybe it's damage taken? Like you just take damage and that... What is this? Is that where someone died? Uh, ascend to level four. Uh, I guess. Ah, so by getting a level, you get a point. And now I have gain an additional healing potion. That would be helpful, I think. And presumably the one they you, you start with, right? So... Can I... I can get these. Can I get any of them? No. Can I get this one? No. Only the ones... Oh, I bet the chef starts here, and that's the only one they can get to start with, right? Because they have no other skills. Um... Do I not have a shield? I mean, I do. Wield class one shields. What is this? Fortified strength. Proof strength scaled weapons. Wield class one hammers and axes. Well, I mean... Wisdom infects, improves effectiveness of prayers. Willpower determines your maximum stamina. Additional healing potion, that would be helpful. Enhanced magic. Class 1 magic user. I see. Gain an additional energy potion. Oh, I wonder if the magic users did not get healing potions to start with. What is this? Wield class 1 whips. Proves attack of dexterity scaled weapons. I assume we're doing more like strength. Because we're a knight. You know, we're in heavy armor and all that stuff. So strength would probably be good, uh, but to start with, extra healing, I think, would probably be the best, right? So we'll gain additional healing potion. Black Pearl, there you go. Uh, remove skill. No, you cannot do that. Why not? Oh, that must be the other one, the skull thing. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm happy with this. Though arrows and blades had pierced his flesh, a quick quaff of the flask given him by the old crone gave him strength anew. Defer Namini? Is that supposed to be like Deuteronomy, but not? Make offering? Nothing to offer. What's my next level? Need more salt to ascend. Okay. Um, I need to know... Okay, it says level four. Got it. Wait. 
Oh, let me, um, because I only have three red flasks. Let me try that again. There we go. Because I filled up before I leveled. So that's key. Uh, maybe I should have taken the shields. But we'll probably do that next time. Okay. Alright, so it, it does... Ow! I don't see it lowering my max, though. Or is it? It does look like it's lowered a little bit. The max health, I mean. The festering banquet. Ow. Yeah, my health is definitely going down. Oh, hey, that was something. Is this like a heavy attack? Interesting, okay. What does knocking their head off do exactly? Hello, friend. Is it knocking the head off which gives the salt? Is this the way to go? Ah, you can see stuff outside. Okay. Stone merchant bundle of salt. What is this stone merchant? We're going to stop here soon, but... Wait, where is the salt stone merchant? Um, bestiary, drowned berserker. Oh, that one. Okay, an axe wielding assault trooper lost at sea and washed ashore. Soldiers like this were typically ex bandit sell swords bought with coin to fight wars they had no stake in. Uh, assume the zero skull is like how many times I've been killed by that enemy. Two is probably the number that I've killed. The Unspeakable Deep. Yeah, there you go. A Kraken in its most common form. Creatures like these once had a name, but sailors so feared possibly conjuring one by speaking its name that referring to them simply as simply the Deep became widespread. Whatever their true name is, it's since been lost to the Deep Dark Sea. Yeah, it kind of looks like Cthulhu. Rotten Walker. These are the drops. Red Shard, Rotten Walker's Ear. Some form of drowned human rotten by time and weather. Many drowned things walk this island. Rotten crossbowman. I, I wish you would tell me, like, what... Wait. Oh, they're the pages. But see, the marauder I haven't looked at yet. Rotten walker, lucky enough to still wield a crossbow. This island is full of drowned men that somehow walk, but some are more decayed than others. Marauder, a bandit of the high seas. They killed your captain, but you alone wash up on the shore. Interesting. Um, yeah, so what about the other stuff? Right? I mean, I picked up a Rotten Walker's ear, after salt, bundle of salt. Uh, no charms. Okay. No charms. What about... No helms. Where's my... Oh, Right, okay. Inventory, not what I have equipped. Got it. No spells, armor, stuff, key, sanctuary key, a simple key. It's attached to a leather fob with fine sanctuary inscribed in the common tongue of Ascaria. Uh, I don't know what... Okay, there's like keys, but what is what is this? What is that symbol next to the key? It looks like a hammer. Crafting stuff? Right, there was something about crafting, I think. 
Rotten Walker's ear, ear of a rotten walker, one of the island's most decrepit residents. The smell of the ocean carries on the wind, forever seeped in this fraying flesh. Can be used as a transmutation material or exchange with a leader. Stone merchant, a small stone figure. Okay, so the stone something that we could have chosen at the beginning is probably a uh, crafting item. Probably a rare one, too. A uh, small stone figure in the form of wealthy market merchant. Offer the stone merchant to an altar to allow merchants to do business in the sanctuary. Grants gold drop bonus to sanctuary sanctuary region? Huh. Okay. No brands. Sanctuary region, huh? Torch throwing dagger. All right. Ron Walker's ear. I see. Um, yep, not, not open. Got it. Uh, so I guess we have to go up. Hmm. I don't understand. I guess it's like the farther, the more attacks and stuff you do. Rotten Walker's ear. Okay, I don't particularly notice. Yeah, I mean that didn't using that didn't change anything. Let's um. Oh, can I uh unequip that one? I suppose unequip that, and then uh, what is what is this way? Pouch of salt. I cannot... There's all this stuff that I can't open. Alright, let's, um... Oh! Uh, wait, wait, wait. So what is that down below, then? It down to use a torch. Interesting. Let's, um... Nope, that's the bestiary. Throwing dagger. Uh, a balanced metal blade useful for wounding enemies from afar. Fair enough. Uh, what about... It's not showing me the torch. I mean, but it's a torch. Presumably I... You know, I imagine I can figure out what the torch does. Let's... No, I want to kill some... I want to kill one more thing so I can level and then we'll stop. I mean, I could just run back to the sanctuary and do it real fast, but I'd kind of also like to... Okay, we've been this way already, I believe. Yes. Need to go up. This is the only way we can go at the moment. And I assume that dude is alive. What is that? This could be bad. Yup. Ouch. Bell of return. Oh, jeez. No, no, no. Don't. Don't do that. Wow, that was bad. Is that a werewolf? Holy crap. Oh, these. Yeah, I suspected they were evil, you know. All right. Okay. Red shards, cool. Those will come in handy. Stone cleric. And then, uh... Oh, right, okay. Well, let's, um... Oh! Oh! Oh, did that hurt me? I think it hurt me. Let's quaff a potion. Now, I wonder if that just straight up heals you. I'm gonna fall again, see if that does damage. Yes, it does. But now I can climb. Okay, right on. Uh, 
Oh, and that's my little my little thing. A little thing that's on me on the on the side there. So you do take fall damage, shivering shore, of course. Um, we'll level up. Why not? Uh, tree of skill, I suppose. Right. I mean, we could go this way. It might be worth it. I wonder if it would be worth it to get the healing potion. It's very possible. Right. Um, max stamina. Effectiveness of prayers. Um, but. Renewed will. Uh, what is this horse thing? Augmented endurance. Maximum equip load. Strength is damage. Uh, wield class 1 shields. Like, I mean, I thought I already can. What does this do, though? Class 1 defender. Class 1 assassin. Um, I'll probably just go with strength and stuff. So, oh, looks like leveling up also probably raises my max health. Possibly based off of... I, I don't know. I don't know what this is going to do, but we'll do this just because, right? Maybe it'll increase our effectiveness with shields. That's a possibility. Uh, let's see. Also, it gives us extra stamina, which is good. Vaskal's shield was wrought of Dorian metal and, glittered, and decorated with a glittering crest. Sure. Boom. So, okay, um, I don't notice that that's necessarily increased anything. Fire defense was at 50 before, I remember that much, but, all right, well, let's, uh, there you go. I assume the tree means autosave, so. We should be good. Uh, end of the game. You will be returned to your most recent sanctuary. There you go. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really hope you're enjoying this. Um, it it may not be super enjoyable to watch me figure. You're okay, Manny. You're all right. You don't have to get up just yet. Uh, it may not be it may it may be enjoyable i have no idea um watching someone else figure out what's going on um probably useful if you're in game development or anything like that it's you know seeing how people approach things that i think is probably super valuable but maybe for the the normal person probably not so much um but who knows i mean i like watching blind playthroughs because you get to see people figure out the game and stuff. So I'm kind of trying to figure this stuff out. I have no idea what's going on. Um, you know, Souls games and stuff I'm semi-familiar with. This, not really at all. Um, I don't know why... I assume the health goes down as you take damage. You know? Uh, and then presumably the stamina and... Focus? Stamina is like our attack meter. You know, stamina. And then the little white one below that, I assume, is probably the magic. Um, we don't we don't have magic, but those that do, it's probably probably the same thing. Probably just like health, you know, because they talked about energy potions. Presumably same thing. Right, Manny? Um... But that's it for today. Like I said, thank you for so much, so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um, one thing that I do like to do if you're new to the channel is at the end of every episode, I ask you guys and I, I tell you one of my own, uh, a unique positive moment. It's You're actually supposed to do three and you're supposed to write them down every day before you go to bed. And it's um, 
unique as in not like you won the lottery, but unique as in like it's something unique to that day, right? So you're not supposed to do the same thing or count the same thing every day. And what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to be difficult. It's supposed to be a challenge, but it challenges you to search for the positive in your everyday life. And it's supposed to boost your happiness and your resilience. Um, so what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? Uh, for me, I would say it's actually... Uh, so I recently finished Sin with Sacrifice, and um, I was kind of reading some of the reviews and stuff online to find out what other people thought about it. And it, uh, I didn't realize that on the main menu it's like Hellblade feature. I thought that was just like... You know how people do like such and such the movie on YouTube and it's just a combination of all the cutscenes and some of the in-game stuff. I thought that's basically what it was. Turns out it's actually the making of, right? So Hellblade making of or making of Hellblade might have been, you know, a little little bit better. But so I, I found that out and after I was done with the game, I was like, oh, I need to go back in and watch it. So... So I did, and it was it was pretty enjoyable. I liked it. I like that kind of behind the scenes stuff. Um, but that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully, your guys is just good, if not better. Hopefully, better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.